Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're looking at here is the Quantum Byte. The Quantum Byte, as you see, is a Windows PC. It's a mini PC fanless. This is running Windows 8.1 at the moment. You can do an upgrade to Windows 10 if you choose to, but I'm just going to keep it like it came out of the box right now. A little about this, it has 2 gigabytes of DDR3L RAM and 32 gigabytes of memory. It also has an Intel Baytrail quad-core processor. That's a little bit about the hardware, but let me show you why having a PC is helpful. For one, Windows Store now offers a whole lot of stuff that people like. You know, it has a Netflix app. And a pretty good one, actually. Take a look at the layout. It's a bit different than something that you would see from a Roku or Fire TV or anything like that. Because it's actually the PC app. But I actually like the layout of it overall. And... The interface is easy enough to run, but you do need something like a wireless keyboard or an air mouse. I'm using an air mouse right now. Wireless keyboards make it way easier to set it up, of course. That's the only, that's one of the only drawbacks of a mini PC. You do need extra equipment. But as you see, it just loads on in. Good old Mr. Ebert there, setting a video to play. You're going to want to make sure that you have Silverlight installed on your mini PC in order to get this to start up. But there you are. I'll go ahead and get out of this. Also installed already, I set up Hulu Plus. Now, Hulu, of course, changed the name just to Hulu, but the Windows app is still called Hulu Plus. No bother for me. This, again, has a different look than you might be used to in the more mobile versions of the platforms. It's more of a large screen app, but you can again take a look navigate it take a look at a shows you know it has it sets things up for you pretty easily and again it loads just fine i cannot get enough of the flash i'm kind of a comic book nerd i guess Taking a little longer than it darn well would do. So we'll just pull out of that. I don't really want to watch a commercial right this moment. So, but you see the other things we've got up here. We got we got you some crackle, we got film on. So a Windows mini PC can actually run a lot of the popular apps that anybody would actually want to run on a set-top box. And you get the extra bonus of having a full browser. And that is a very cool thing. I have the Google Chrome browser installed. And what I can do with the Chrome browser that's really helpful is not only do I have a full browser, it also has video apps that I can access through the browser. So some of the things that aren't necessarily already supported by Windows can be accessed through Google Apps. For instance, you can access your Google Drive. If you have programs or things that you like to install on things, you got it right there. You have a Google Play app. This, this one will bring you directly to the Voodoo Movies website.
And then, of course, with a full browser, you can go in and go to any website you like. For instance, CBS.com. That's actually a really good way to get a hold of episodes of things like Supergirl. For some reason, Supergirl is not available in any of the basic apps. But if you head to CBS.com, you can actually get a hold of it. Takes a little bit more navigating. All right, so once you're at CBS.com, all you have to do is just click on Supergirl, and it will get you ready to go. As you see, it goes right to the full episode screen. And you'll get started. We may get stuck watching a commercial or something like that, but I don't think that that's too much to ask. And to Earth to protect my cousin. And it looks like we're just going to get started. All right. Go ahead and stop that and get out of this. So, you see, you have the browser. I mean, you can go to any website. Like I said, I could go to my own, but you don't need to see the streaming advisor right this second. So, if you notice, I've got the CBS Sports. And just to let you know, these apps did not come pre-installed on the Quantum Byte. I got most of them from the Windows Store and from respective websites. But there is a link on my website on the article about the Quantum Byte that it gives you all you need to add all of these great apps to your system. Okay, so here we are in good old Cody, everybody's favorite media center outside of Plex, or instead of Plex, depending on who you are. This is just got a clean build of Cody. There's nothing added to it at all. It's just your standard version from the Cody.tv website. Of course, Cody is a lot of fun. A lot of people like it for all the cool apps and add-ons it has. You can also watch your locally saved media. It's just a very popular add-on for any HTPC, and it certainly isn't left off of this one. As for any other apps you might want to add, you can always do so from the actual Windows Store. It's easy enough to use. You can search for things by name. You can search for them by category. So, I like this one. It's not quite as big as something like the Amazon Store or even the Android and iOS stores, but it does offer a lot to choose from, including... CBS Sports, TuneIn Radio, the Major League Baseball channel. Yeah, you know, that's the Major League Baseball TV, 24-hour news from CBS, and a lot of other things, as you say. Sling TV is something that I had to add from Sling TV's website. This is the PC version of the app. Looks good. See how it's loading right now. It's a little busy on the internet right now. Sling TV is always a little bit affected by how much web traffic there is. And it looks like there's a little at the moment. It usually clears up in just a second. Let's see. Turn that off. You've got to make one of those. There's also Xbox games. This is because, of course, it's a Microsoft Windows thing, so you can access games from Xbox. 
So as you can see, you can really get a lot out of this, including uh, something I like. I don't know whether you've seen it yet, but Play On. Good old Play On, which has been around for, a, for an age now, recently did a very, very big upgrade. The upgrade allows you to do some pretty cool things, which include accessing channels directly from the desktop. And of course, since this is attached to a TV, it's more of a TV interface. And you see there are a lot of options that you can add with Play On. One of the things I like is that right now, it's one of the few places where you can find a CW app. I'm a sucker for CW shows. Love the comic book shows. So you just go right into their interface. And if you're a Play On subscriber, which does cost some money, you can access a great deal of content. Let's see if that'll zip along for us. And like I said before, we're running the server directly on this machine. It isn't leeching off of another computer in the home. Who's that? And so you see, you can do a lot with this. You can do a lot with this. We're going to check out Pluto TV's app. This, of course, is the PC version. That's opposed to, say, going to the website. If we'll load here, let's try that again. Looks like Pluto TV is just fighting with us a little bit. I like how quickly this gets into the task manager. Let's try to close that down. And in task. And close that. Let's try it again. I find this launch screen to be the best thing to use as a as far as a more TV centric system. Much much preferable to bouncing around a desktop. There we are. Thing that's great about the PC version of the Pluto TV app is you actually get more channels with it than you do from others. This is because you can connect up with a full browser, and it opens up more possibilities. Things like Roku and Apple TV don't have that. Well, that Star Trek movie is on. It's one of my favorites. But this is just another reason why I like PCs on the TV. As well, you can check your email if you like. It's not my thing to check email and do work like that on TV. But that, my friends, is the Quantum Byte fanless PC hooked up to a TV. I think it offers a lot. And there's more possibilities than I've even done. I haven't even shown you games, but we can't make this video 20 hours. But this is a nice little purchase if you want it. I think they run for about $160. I'll link to where you can pick one up. I hope you enjoyed this video, and it's good to be back with you. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.